Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today, we will be reorganizing and cleaning our collection of farm animals, insects, amphibians, birds collection, as well as Australian animals right here, okay? So we have to reorganize them and place them back in the two boxes right behind, okay? At the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a preview of what's coming up next on Dan Surprise on Saturday's video, which is tomorrow. Quite excited about these new figures, but of course, we will have to reorganize all of these figures together first, and let's do this together. Alright guys, so let's have a look at our collection right here. I don't think we have seen these figures for a long time. What is the first figure right here? It seems to be a bee, a honey bee or a bumble bee. Honey bee, alright, a 2006 figure. I think this figure is pretty cool because it's actually very big and you can see the wings is actually like translucent, so it's pretty high quality. Let's place all the insects right here, okay, together with, um, you know, um, the arachnids, like spiders and scorpions into this box as well. Next up, what do we have right here? Echidna, if I'm not wrong. Yep, this is our, this belongs to the um, Australian animals collection right here from Science and Nature. You can see this is actually a very beautiful figure. So right here into the box. What do we have right here? Is this a tarantula? I, I know that a lot of people are afraid of spiders. Tarantula spiders right here. Yeah, I think this figure itself, it can be pretty scary to some of you guys out there, right? It's okay, it's okay. Next up, um, we have a Gernsnee cow, guys. Gernsnee cow is well known for being popular with dairy farmers because they are extremely gentle and they produce lots of milk, which is awesome. Alright, next up, let's have a look at the next figure. What do we have right here? We have a Labrador. Very nice Labrador. They are very intelligent animals and they can also retrieve... Um, hunt yeah retrieve hunt basically all right next up we have a hungarian pig guys is well known for its curly fur which is awesome okay for the farm animals it will go into this corner right here i'll try to put all the farm animals right here okay next up what do we have right here okay this is actually a quite a big figure okay wait a minute i think the insects and um the spiders and stuff we will have to place them together with uh the Australian animals, which is right in this box, okay? So, let's have a look at this. What is this? This is a bullfrog. So, bullfrog, they are well known for eating almost anything that you put into, you know, its enclosure or its tank. I've actually seen a bullfrog eating a small little chick. That was extremely cruel. Yeah, I've seen that before. You know, there was like actually like a YouTuber feeding the bullfrog with you know, all sorts of different food. That was actually very, very terrifying for me. Okay, next up, we have... What is this, guys? Um, this is from Schleich. I think this is a stalk. Not exactly sure, but I think this is a stalk. I'm gonna put all the birds right here. Okay, next up, we have a dingo. Dingo is basically an Australian wild dog. So all the Australian animals can maybe pro probably go into that corner. Right here, we have a um, Siberian Husky. Very nice. So this will go into our canines collection right here, this little corner. Another pig right here, and this is a female pig if I'm not wrong. So this one will go right here. What do we have right here? Centipede. Centipede. Do you guys know like how many pairs of legs does a centipede half like i mean if you guys know comment down below because i have no idea i think it should be at least like 50 pairs shall we come i think that would take too much time maybe next time <laughs> all right next let's see what else we have um kangaroo okay and this we have a beautiful okay so wait a minute i think since we are putting all the insects here so this one should definitely be here we have a dragonfly all right, beautiful figure as well. You can see the wings are actually made of like translucent material, which is very, very realistic. Next up, we have a, I'm just gonna call this a sheep. All right, and here we have a token, token right here. 
Alright, this will go into the birds collection. We have a huge ant figure. This figure is very, very old. And what do we have right here? Platypus. Alright, platypus. And this is a wombat, extremely adorable. Can be found in Australia as well. Koala right here is not a bear. Koalas are actually marsupials. Ostrich, a flightless bird, and they can run pretty fast. What is this? We have a black widow right here. This will go into this box. Another bullfrog. Yes, we have two identical bullfrog figures. We acci accidentally ordered two figures. And what do we? Wow, this one is cool. This is actually a pretty, um, pretty new figure. Scorpion. Very nice little figure right here. All right. Let's see what else we have. Kiwi. Are kiwis extinct? Let me know down below in the comment section, okay? And what is this? A grasshopper, guys. All right, grasshopper. And a donkey. This will definitely go into the farm animals collection. Wow. Another tarantula. Yes, I know many of you guys who are afraid of spider might be very terrified right now. Here we have a praying mantis. Praying mantis, they are actually super skillful. I've actually seen uh, you know, a praying mantis escaping from the clutches of a cat and fighting back against the cat. That was like an awesome, awesome video. Um, here we have a turkey. Okay, this can go into the box, uh, the, the bird's collection. What do we have right here, guys? Um, I have no idea what species or what breed this is. So if you guys know, comment down below. Another black widow. This time it is a smaller figure. Beautiful black widow. Let's see what else we have. Is this another tarantula? Let's have a look. Probably. I'm not too sure. But I guess this is a tarantula. Probably. And now the kiwi seems like we have two identical figures. And what is this, guys? Wow, we have so many spiders. Dan, please stop showing us spiders. Sydney funnel web spider. Cute little spider. Very, very small. And uh, what else do we have? Another pig right here. And... What do we have right here? Um, I think this is a... I can't remember the name. Is this like a bull terrier? I think so. I think so. Okay, let's see what else we have. Wow, we have a calf right here. A baby cow. Very, very adorable. And what is this? Oh, it's actually like a tiny little goat right here. Super cute. Stuck to its feet. Let beetles possum. This is an Australian animal. So into the box. And what do we have right here? Persian cat. Oh, Siamese cat. I beg your pardon. This will... I'm going to put this near the um, uh, the dogs. And here we have a cow. Alright. Farm animals. Border collie, the most intelligent species of... Um, the most intelligent breed of dogs. Okay. What do we have right here? Is this a nanny goat or a... Um, uh, yes, yeah, a nanny goat. Nice. We have an albatross right here, beautiful wings spread out, white. Another kangaroo, this will go into the Australian animals collection for sure. Peacock right here, with the feathers wide open. Monarch butterfly, okay. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Small tortoise shell butterfly. Yes, I can't remember every single name of them, to be honest with you. Alright, another pig right here. A soul to be exact, a piglet. We have a bulldog. Um, yes, yeah, a bulldog. British bulldog. I'm not too sure. I think it's a British bulldog. This is a French bulldog. Yep, that's right. And uh, they are known as Frenchies for short. Another scorpion. Yeah, this, this thing can be pretty deadly, guys. Red Macau, we do have a blue one. Where is the blue one? We can do like a quick comparison right here. Okay, very nice. Let's move on to our next one, which is a German Shepherd Puppy. Extremely adorable. Is this a rhinoceros beetle? Let's have a look at the name written right below. Let's have a look. I can't remember, so we need to take a look. Rhinoceros beetle. Very, very cool. I love this one. It looks like, you know, uh, a Styracosaurus, if you guys know what the Styracosaurus is. Collie, extremely intelligent dog as well, and they are super beautiful, I, I feel. 
and another rhinoceros beetle which is exactly the same seems like we have the problem of ordering the same <laughs> figures what is this hampshire pig guys i think this is also uh, known for his very nice temperament if i'm not wrong pot valid pig okay yellow yellow footed rock wallaby and it actually comes with some facts so let's just read this the female carrying a young for opening pouch for four to five weeks this endangered species inhabits rocky outcrops in semi-arid areas of australia very very nice i haven't been to australia for like the longest time guys this it's a what is this known as hoisten cow extremely popular um breed of um cows as well koala another australian animal so into this box a bird of prey which is known as a voucher they were prey on the dying and um you know they are actually scavengers as well scavengers um this is a tasmanian devil there's some facts so let's read one or two lines together not too much otherwise you guys might be bought Tasmanian devils are currently the largest living mus carnivorous marsupials in the world. Devils once lived on the mainline, mainland of Australia but have now been confined to Tasmania since pre-European settlement. The survival of Tasmanian devils is now seriously threatened by the devil facial tumor disease. Oh my goodness. Hopefully they can get a cure for that disease. I think that will be that will help them. This is a Bantam ham. Oh, Americana chicken, which is the only species of chicken around that can lay eggs that are blue in color. <laughs> Extremely cute. Snowy hour right here. You can see the colors is very, very similar to the color of snow, which helps them to um, camouflage very well in snowy environment. So what is this, guys? Have a look at this. This is a red tail hawk. Beautiful one. All right. I'm gonna put this in the birds collection with a kangaroo for Joey in his pouch and not a kangaroo and this is a giant red kangaroo which looks extremely muscular and strong okay and not a spider right here this I have no idea what this is let's have a look at the name Mexican red knee tarantula wow we have so many tarantula um, spiders in our collection bald eagle all right beautiful eagles are able to saw and um, you know, without saw in the sky for like hours without flapping their wings. I think this is a huntsman tiger, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, huntsman spider, not tiger. Why did I say tiger? Okay, with this one, I have no idea. This is like a stack beetle. Let's have a look. Yes, it's a stack beetle. Nice, cool. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This, it's a, you know, it's nicknamed a sausage dog. And um, it's actually known as a Deshaun. I'm not too sure that I got the pronunciation right, but hopefully we have a roach right here, a cockroach right here. This is actually battery operated, so you can turn this on. Oh my goodness, it can actually run guys, but not on the carpet surface. If you put it on the ground, it will actually move guys, and it, it can actually scare people. Those people who are actually very afraid of um, cockroaches. Okay, what do we have right here? Bantam ham, which is like the smallest species of um, chickens around. Tasmanian devil. Okay, what is this, guys? Peregrine. Oh, it's a harpy eagle. I beg your pardon. Let's have a look at the other one. Wow, another kangaroo. Seems like we have plenty of kangaroos, and this one also have um, you know, the baby in its pouch. Okay, nice. Let's move on to our next one. This is a blue-footed broody. Very nice. And what else do we have? A peacock. Yeah, I think this peacock was given to us by Dan Safari. It's a new figure. Very, very beautiful. The feathers all open up. Poodle, which is um which is said to be uh, said to be the second most intelligent species of dogs around after Border Collie. Mosquito. I mean everyone, everybody hits the mosquito, right? I mean who likes mosquito? I don't think anybody likes mosquito. Scorpion, another one right here. Okay, beautiful one. Another hoisted cow. This is a black sheep. Okay. This um lady bird. Or should we call this a lady brock? Lady bird, I think. Let's see what else we have. Hoisted cow. I think this is a hoisted cow as well. I think so. Yep pretty nice one and this is a um, another albatross quite a cool albatross 
German Shepherd guys, another very brave dog. They're extremely loyal and extremely intelligent as well. Tabby Cat. Um, what is this? Let's have a look. I can't remember the name of uh, Billy Good. Yeah, one is a nanny good and the other one is like a Billy Good. The male one is known as a Billy Good. Dalmatian Puppy. Extremely cute and adorable. They have a koala and a baby koala by its side. Here we have a Persian cat. Yeah, you can see it has a very um, kind of like a flat face, very adorable. Long eared hour. Alright. And this is the um the great haunt hour. Yeah, that's right. Pelican. Okay. And what is this? What is this guys? Is this a raven? Yep, it is a raven. It looks like a crow as well. And what is this? A sheep. Okay. And not a ladybird. So yep, we've ordered like quite a few of the similar um you know figures. Tabby cat. A rabbit. <laughs> yes. Extremely cute, right? And what do we have right here? Another chicken, a hen. Golden Retriever, not the best looking figure I would say. It looks doesn't look that, that accurate. A tiny little koala. Okay, what is this? Another macaw. Seems like we have quite a number of um, macaws, like three of them, black sheep. Exactly the same figure. Cockatoo. I think so. I think this is a cockatoo. Yep, that's right. Got a name right. What cat? What cat is this? Tabby cat? Probably a tabby cat, a grey tabby cat. This is a wombat. Extremely adorable, guys. This one, this figure is extremely adorable. Jack Russell Terrier, well known for their stamina and speed and um, energy. This is a, um, a bee, I guess. A bumblebee. bee. Yep. A duck. I'm pretty sure there's a species to this particular is, it, is this like a mandarin duck i think so yeah probably jack russell terrier again just now was a jack russell terrier puppy i guess oh what is this the darwin's frog i think yep that's right darwin's frog with a very very sharp snout chinchilla i think i didn't know we have a chinchilla figure um yeah it is a chinchilla extreme Extremely adorable. How many of you guys actually have like chinchilla as pets? This is a Lot House Island stick insect. Yeah, that's right. Our one and only one. A butterfly, a monarch butterfly to be exact. You have a golden retriever. This figure is from Schleit, if I'm not wrong. This is a booby, guys. Very adorable. I think this is known as a um, boxer. Yeah, that's right, boxer. Let's see what else we have. Okay, let me just move camera slightly forward. Okay, what do we have right here? Is this another Americana chicken? Yeah, probably. Trilobite. Oh, it's a red litcher. Red litcher rex trilobite. Yep, the full name. That's the full name. A prehist. I mean, it's a prehistoric. Um, creature, I would say. I'm gonna say animal because I'm not too sure whether they can be classified as animal. Um, red eye tree frog. So we do have a couple of frogs in our collection. This one looks like a Shiba Inu. A dingo. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, it's a dingo. We can actually put it together with the dogs, but you know, I'm just gonna put it together with the um, um, Australian animals. Phoenix rooster. Yep, that's right. And what do we have right here? A tabby cat again. What is this? What does it say? Man, many cat? I can't see the word. Max? Oh my goodness, mank cat? What is this, guys? Let me know down below, okay? You can see the printing is not very clear, so yeah. A rabbit? Oops, probably a hare. It looks like a wild, wild rabbit. Yep. This is probably a uh, billy goat, probably. This is a French 
Bulldog. Boston Terrier. Oh my goodness, I beg your pardon, guys. We have a snail. Yes, we our first and one and only snail in our collection. Looks like a falcon. Peregrine falcon. Nice. This is uh, a push. This is a um, Siamese cat. Yeah. A rooster. Chicks. A frog. What kind? What kind of frog is this? Coroboree frog. I, I, I remember I read up some facts about this frog, but I've totally forgotten about them. So I, I need the help of you guys. Castlewari, which is like a descendant of a dinosaur. They are basically like living dinosaurs, guys. So you can imagine raptors look like, you know, cassowaries and um, ostriches. This is a... Um, and Hinga. That's right. What is this? Make a guess. What is this, guys? I can't remember. Bandicoot. Yes, that's right. Bandicoot. And to the Australian animals. Great Dane. I think so. Great Dane. Yeah. You know, once I had a dog. His name was um, Pui Pui. Because right now, we, we actually have Tutu. Pui Pui was actually bitten very, very badly by a Great Dane. But luckily, you know, Tutu, uh, Pui Pui actually survived the attack. Yeah, it was an unprovoked attack. That was extremely scary. Yeah, but you know, we, we actually survived the attack. I brought him to the um, vet and to the um, pet's ho hospital for an emergency surgery. It was very, very heartbreaking, but you know, fortunately, we, we survived the attack. This one seems to be a nanny goat. We have a schnauzer right here. Okay, they are well known for having, you know, the very long whiskers. Small donkey calf looks so adorable. Let's see what else we have. We have some grass, guys. Grass. We have some. We have a hen and a chicks. Some chum chicks. This is our Laura Keat. Extremely colorful. Oh my goodness! This bird is just so colorful. I'm trying to find its name. Is right here, guys. Laura Keat. Yeah, you can see it as like green, blue, red, yellow. Oh my goodness, so beautiful, the colors. This is a hyacinth parrot. A hyacinth parrot. Hyacinth, uh, yeah, you can see. Looks very much like a macaw and stuff. Kookaburra. Kookaburra. Yep, that's right. Cardinal. Cardinal. Sharpe. Flamingo, right? You can see it. This box is getting really full. This is a collie puppy. So cute. Platypus, a pig, and our last figure of the day, a golden retriever. Extremely nice to be, you know, reorganizing these two boxes. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we can get to, um, I'm not too sure what other collection you guys want me to make. Comment down below, I'll be happy to do that. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to Dan Safari, Dan Surprise, uh, Jurassic Dan, um, and uh, follow us on TikTok, Instagram. If you want to, if you want me to contact you, you can actually request for a personalized video for yourself, okay? Just find the About Arts tab, there's a link to our Snip Feed account. Or you can just click on the link in our bio on Instagram and TikTok, okay? So do follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I upload quite a number of reels there um, on weekly basis, sometimes daily basis, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.